It's funny that Michael uses this acronym throughout his book of the first rule of mastery, which is FOPO, which stands for fear of other people's opinions. I'm familiar with FOMO acronym, and I truly feel like FOPO is a lot stronger than FOMO. But Michael explains in chapter 10 that it's normal, that because we're human, we innately have a need to belong. No one wants to feel rejected. So he goes to share what the antidote to FOPO is, and I absolutely love what he said. He says to one, have a deep love and care of others and be a contributor to support others' well, well-being. And two, to act in alignment with your goals, your purpose, and your values. When you're focused on loving others and being your full self and walking in your purpose, you won't even have the energy to focus on what others may or may not be thinking of you. But if you're not living authentically to yourself, if you're not trying to be part of a community to help and support others, that's when it's going to fall apart and FOPO will always win. I love this perspective so much because I truly believe that so much security comes when you get to this stage. So reflect, even now, where are you with that? Do you even know what your values are? It's important. So, you know, jot that down. Really think about these things so that you can set yourself up to be invincible and to FOPO.